my family was um, not very interested in policy or politics or whatnot, but my dad and I just found ourselves having lots of long conversations about the economy uh, very frequently. Hi, I'm Elisa Major, and I'm the program manager of the Open Health Project. So I grew up in Switzerland, so it was a quite different experience being there. But my family was um, not very interested in policy or politics or whatnot, but my dad and I just found ourselves having lots of long conversations about the economy uh, very frequently. And so that probably kind of shaped the way I think about the world. But I would say that from an early age on, my parents really trusted me and they wanted me to have all the opportunities I wanted to have. So if I was interested in something, I could pursue it. But they also made sure that I knew about the trade-offs. So when I wanted to pursue something that uh, was maybe not in my best interest, uh, they made sure that I would somehow kind of feel the consequences of that. And actually, it's kind of a funny thing, but when I was 18, my parents were like, okay, you're an adult, and we know that we can't legally force you to do anything, so we'll incentivize you to do the things that we think you should do. And actually, they gave me a little contract, <laughs> like crazy enough, a contract of three to four pages, where uh, they kind of laid out different options. Like, if you go to college, we'll give you, you know, this much money, we'll pay for this much, and um, you can do that. And then grad school, if you're interested, uh, will also help with that. If you go on and do a, a gap year, which is something that I was interested in doing, um, then the system would be a little different. I would have to pay a little more out of my own pocket. And that's the way that my parents chose to help me build like, a good understanding of trade-offs and what opportunities might come out of my choices and what consequences might also flow from them. So that shaped the way I think. And so looking at what I do now, it makes a lot of sense that <laughs> I would have ended up at Mercatus in terms of understanding incentives. This is something that is very close to um, all our scholars' hearts to think about the unintended consequences of choices. And so that was a natural fit for me, looking at my upbringing and how, where I am at today.